from Joseph. So I'm looking at your email here. Good stuff. So here's a task. Go to the Lyman filament extruder. Lyman filament extruder. There you're going to see the part library in the links. Lyman filament extruder part library. That's what I clicked on. There it is. We got a bunch of STL files for the Lyman filament extruder. Take any one that's more than a hundred and redraw it. So let's, but start with simple ones. Like, um, you know, I'm looking at these 61K, blah, 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 various ones, 34K, 400K. No, that's a great case. 400K. There's no reason why this should be uh, 400K. So the idea is, like we talked about, we can't make a CAD file that has... These are all the pieces for the CAD. If we put them all into one file, it would just blow up the file. It would be like many megs. So we're reducing, like, for example, this 400, just like I did the example today of reducing 900K or 6 meg to 24K. So here we should go for, like, 10K, from 400 to 10K, while retaining the, the main shape. So let's take a look at it. I'm clicking on that. Uh, here's the file. I'm going to download it. Yep, it's 400K. So download it and then upload a new version of after you're done. So here I'm downloading it and then I'm going to open up in FreeCAD. Uh, where is it? So I've downloaded it. I'm click double clicking on it to open it up in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is booting up and I'll show you how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to measure the dimensions and then draw it from scratch but using the part workbench. Part workbench. Remember what we talked about today. It's it's fast. It's uh, lower memory than using the Sketcher. So Sketcher, you typically go start a new sketch. You know, on your X Y plane. Let's say that's in the FreeCAD 101 video. You can draw a square. You can draw a square. Close. You can go to then part workbench or part design. And then part design, you turn it into a pad. Congratulations, we just turned it. Where is it? There it is somewhere. I just turned it into a solid. Uh, yeah, it's not. We turned it into a solid. But then if you go into uh, part, you can create. So quit out of this. Create a solid like this right there. Um, there it is. It's this solid right here is the one I just created. Or a cone. I don't know why it backs up in there. I just created a cone here. Okay, somehow my something is wrong with my FreeCAD. But anyway, I just did a cone. And... Uh, okay, it's not cooperating with me here. So I'm going to go back to... Where's my file? So this STL, what happened to it? Um... So I'm going to open that with FreeCAD. So I'm going back to my, uh, once again, the SDL file. Let's open it up. So point being what I just tried to show you, don't go into the Sketcher workbench, go into the part workbench. Okay, so here I loaded up the file. I don't know where it is, so I go, I go into View, Standard Views, Fit All. Okay, there it is. Sometimes when you open things up, they don't open up and uh, you got to find where they are. So here it is. There we go. 400k for this? Nonsense. This is a cylinder. Um, yeah. So, But you got to take measurements. What's what's the measurements of this thing? So, so go into the different views, like hit one on your keyboard, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Th those are all the different views from the different different perspectives essentially two views. You need to know that, that diameter and like the inner one and the outer one. So how do you approximate this? Well, make one cylinder, like make a wider cylinder. Let's, let's take, make this out of three cylinders. One is a wide cylinder here, one is a little smaller cylinder, and the third cylinder is going to be the hole that's inside. You can make this by three boolean, sh boolean shapes, meaning you add the first two and then you subtract the middle. So go to part. So this is where you start becoming fluent. So part, go to your cylinder. Bam, just did it. Okay, so let's 
where did that appear well so this is here it it creates the cylinder at the origin so let's go to view standard views fit all see and I I don't know where to put it okay so I because what happened here is that when this file was created it probably got saved in non or some non origin location and that's why like I can't even find where the origin is right from here and I don't know where it is so okay but what I need here the important part is measurements so do that you can measure it what's on the inside what's on the outside so use the tape measure tape measure is that one there so go there bam what happened click on a tape measure click once click twice ah oh, man and this is where we're seeing the the tricks of oh there it is it, it shows that let's let's see if I can get the tape why is it not there and there there it is I don't know why it wasn't showing 69 millimeters on the inside and you can maybe take like the outside diameter for the other one it doesn't have to be precise because this is like a general model I don't know why it's not letting me so it did one side there Ah, I think I know what's going on. Like because this is actually the STL files. This so this is the messed up part about STL files. It's an STL. Uh, you can only click on the vertices, and it's actually made up of many, many little little triangles. So you have to hit right on triangle. But anyway, you get the idea here. Then you get the diameter of the outer one. Uh, so click. Well, keep clicking until you hear it catch. So the outer one, yeah, 82. So anyway, you go into take some measurements. And then after that, I'm going to open up a new page, new new sheet here, so I can uh, put in. So now using the part workbench, take a look at this. So put in a cylinder. Great. Go to the cylinder. Go to the data. Radius. Radius is going to be what do we say? The one was like what 84 millimeters. So radius is going to be 42. Okay, there you go. And then the height, well, I forgot to me measure the height, but that height was like, I don't know, maybe 50 or whatever. So you got to take all the measurements. And then, okay, that's that. Then you create the second cylinder. I just created a second cylinder. It appeared there. So it actually, it, it gets created the origin. So now you take that one and mess with that. So that one's going to be, like I remember, it was like 30, radius about 30 or so. Yep. And then the height is going to be like... You got to do the same as before, like what what are we did? 50, uh, 50 for that. Um, there's 50. Okay, so I made these two. Uh, so now I'm getting closer to making that shape. And then you have the third third cylinder. Well, actually, I didn't draw this right. The th yeah, you get the idea. But basically, you have to add shapes together. Like here, if you do the subtraction, so you take take this one. And that one, and the one you click on first, let's see, this one, no, you have to select it, I think, in the tree view. There, that's the big cylinder, that's the small cylinder. Now it gets you these. These are the, you want to do a subtraction. So make a cut of two shapes, make a union, so a cut. This is union. Well, let's do, let's do this. Let's click on this one, and it says union difference subtract cylinder um, first shape second shape so subtract I guess one from the other apply yep good so I made this cylinder so yeah basically that's how you do it but do it in work the the part workbench now let's look at the memory here I'm gonna save this uh, save this it's gonna be uh, whatever tube whatever it's called no, nope, doesn't like it. Control save. Save it on the desktop. Tube. Whatever. Um, and I'm looking at the tube file properties. That thing is a whopping 4.3 kilobytes. So the bottom line here is 4.3 kilobytes is lower than 415 kilobytes. So so do this, man. Just start playing with this. What you're gonna do is end up getting a lot of insights on how to work with shapes making boolean subtractions and so forth um, you can look at the sim file simplification um, instructional of today 
but this is good so you can just take anything from the Lyman film and extruder page these are the parts that we're gonna have to print out first of all why this is important we're gonna make the big uh, overall CAD file for the extruder this th whole thing this big thing out of many many parts and the point is by sub by re reducing their memory we're gonna be able to have that be manageable within FreeCAD very easy and of course we already have these full full detailed files we can use them for printing but for but not for modeling because they're just too heavy altogether I mean it would add up to too much so that's a brief video do it baby it's all you and the rest of the world